So the, if we get if we get fruit up to here, some more flavour to the oyster and lamb thyroid hot pot. Get a bit more thyme, thyme flavour, thyme flavour in it. It might be a case of looking at an essential oil or something. And he's thought of a completely new way of cooking scrambled egg without a microwave. So the order comes in. Hopefully, all you do is you pop your bag in a water bath for X amount of minutes, slip the bag open, and out come the scrambled eggs. Yeah, that's much better. More cooking? Or uh, uh, personally, I thought that was what you're looking for no, in terms of no, creaminess. That could just be just a tiny bit more. This is the uh, potato soup. Now. Despite numerous versions, Heston's still not happy with the buttered baked potato soup. If you can't get it to really capture the flavour of a butter baked potato, yeah. then we should maybe change the soup. <laughs> the, the scrambled eggs, my plan worked, but you know, I mean, we can get it to a level where we are happy with the dishes. Jockey and Ashley happy with the dishes. Doesn't mean to say people in Little Chef are going to be happy with the dishes. Heston hasn't had time to train Little Chef staff to cook his trial menu, so his chefs from the Fat Duck, Ashley and Jockey, will be cooking it for him when it's road tested. See the Little Chef side? Yeah. There he is. There oh, he is. I see the red. Whoa. Neither of them has been to a Little Chef in years, so Heston's taking them on a field trip. It's all very different from the Fat Duck experience. You're kidding me, no? Seriously? Where the frig is everybody? It's just for real. It's going to be for real. There's two people here. <laughs> Temple Street, please. This is pretty bad. Yeah. Everything's chipped. It's, it just that. seems like a joke. It seems like a bit of a joke. My chair is all ripped. <laughs> oh my god, mine's worse than that. Look at mine. <laughs> but we're not dining alone, though. Can you see it? The cobwebs and the flies. No, there's a big one over there. Oh my god, it is it's pretty... Uh... I'd rather go and buy a sandwich yeah. and sit in my car. Oh, it's totally Christ almighty. Taste that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's like black water. That's like swamp water. It's muddy. It's got this sort of... Yeah. Oh. At the next Little Chef, they stop for lunch, so that Ashley and Jockey can taste the dishes. Well, there's no one in that one either. Price crash. Everywhere. Let's get to it. First up, Ash goes for the Hawaiian burger. It's not a burger. But oh, holy <laughs> God. <laughs> that is not a burger. The pineapple slice that just does it for me. Look at the size of it. It's bigger, it's bigger than the... It's almost the same size as the rest of the thing put together. I don't know even know if I want to eat that. Come on, Ash. You know you, know you want to. Jesus. I, honestly. <laughs> but it's the burger is so dry. Oh, the texture. That's horrendous. That is going off this menu, I can tell you now. The burger. Fucking hell. It's like a piece of carpet, isn't it? Next, it's off to Thailand for a green prawn curry. It's not too bad. It depends what you're measuring. I mean, if you... Yeah, yeah exactly, that's the yeah. thing. If you're going against the Hawaiian burger, then, yeah. I mean, my shoe would taste good. <laughs> and finally, to Italy for pasta with olives. Like lukewarm, stodgy pasta. Yeah, I, personally, I don't think this has got a place here. This doesn't feel like it should be Little Chef. There's a big chunk of Britishness about nostalgia, about mm -hmm. Little Chef nostalgia. This confuses it even more. Yeah. The day before the trial begins, Heston asks Ian and his team to come and taste the new menu. The two key words for, for me are Britishness and excitement. 
And I think that what, what made Little Chef so exciting years ago needs to come back again. First, there's Heston's alternative to the Little Chef microwaved scrambled eggs. Well, the dish is a scrambled egg with Earl Grey, Earl Grey tea smoked salmon. I'm quite excited about the technique. I don't think it's ever been done before, and we've done it for these. Okay. And it's I, I don't think my palate is, is too bad, but the elements of the Earl Grey and the Lapsang Souchon, for me, were not coming through sufficiently strongly. The biggest thing we were concentrating there was the texture of the egg. I agree with Jonathan. At the end of the day, I have asked you to be blue sky thinking. Heston's versions of British classics like ham and eggs have been given a radical twist. It's been cooked in hay. Cooked in what? Hay? Hay. Straw. Which is a really old, really old kind of British thing. At the last moment, Heston rejected the buttered baked potato soup in favour of an old favourite, pea and ham. There's a little bit of smoked bacon oil. So the soup is not quite what I had expected, but it didn't layer quite as well as it, I thought it might, in that the, ar the aromatics of the mint dissipated very quickly. So, it... Right, OK, well, um, we've actually... <laughs> Well, what we were saying we we're going to do, this is it's Lancashire hot pot, but it's got oysters in it. Well, dig, dig in. Mm. Again, this is really historic. British, the British used to put cockles and clams and oysters in meat dishes because it, if you cooked it, <coughs> you didn't go fishy, you just boosted the meaty flavours. Mm. This is more complex. Mm -hmm. that, and there's top notes in there as well, so we've added a bit of rosemary oil. Most in tunnel, just you just get that element. Yeah. It's interesting how it coats the roof of your mouth. That was, that will generally be from the <coughs> the oils in the meat from the lamb as well, mm. and they have that ability to hold on to flavour. Mm. My only comment is it's too salty for me. Uh, so, is there like anything here you're going to eat? All of it. And finally, typical of Heston's magic. Chocolate ice cream with mandarin aroma. Oh. <laughs> so then the kids can I pour oh yeah, no, so you pour your own you pour your own aroma. Aroma into the bowl. Brilliant. Feel a little bit disappointed. I was expecting some, you know, fire and brimstone, blue sky thinking, uh, on a larger scale than we actually got it. And I need him to come up with something more dramatic than he has already come up with. It's 7 a.m. on day one of the trial where Heston's food will be road tested against the existing menu at the Little Chef in Popham. The plan now is we need to set up kind of just about half of this restaurant with the alternative menu. Customers will choose which menu they prefer. If they want traditional fare, they'll sit on the Little Chef side. If they want Heston's menu, they'll sit on his half. You guys all up for it? I'm up yeah. for it. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start this whole process by throwing down the gauntlet. I need to show Ian that his menu is basically rubbish. Yeah, I'm going to win. If Heston wins more customers, these dishes will be put onto his new Little Chef menu. If he loses, he'll have to think again. It's one of Popham's busy mornings and Little Chef breakfasts are flying off the grill. The Olympic breakfast, when you're on a long journey, it does the job, this is the classic. If it ain't broke, why, you know, why fix it? It takes over an hour and a half before two brave customers decide to eat from Heston's menu. We're not in our kitchen, we are stuffed in the corner of theirs with a griddle and a water bar. You, you go to put something down and there's no room. So it's very compact, you can only roll a couple of plates at a time. There we go, it's that table pulled. There we go. Our customers seem to have disappeared. They were there just a minute ago. They've disappeared. And what made him think that smoked salmon and scrambled egg in a bag that takes three minutes to cook would be acceptable to put on the Little Chef menu? It's all about speed. Speed is of the essence. And some customers are baffled by the modern twist Heston's given his food. I was 